Sorry, it's, it's been a while. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Sammy and thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today we're going to be talking about someone you may have heard about recently because of a controversy between this guy and... What was his name? Brent. Brent Rivera. <laughs> Hold on, I forgot what this guy's name was. So today we're gonna be talking about Tyler Oliveira. Oliveira? I don't know. Isn't it kind of funny that two people that got in controversy have like similar last names? I don't know, kind of random, but I heard about a video that this Tyler dude uploaded and it piqued my interest and I wanted to share it with you guys because Quite frankly, I think this just proves how problematic not only Brent Rivera is, but Tyler Oliveira is as well. So, you know, stay out of Colorado, stop coming here, go into the goddamn Stanley Hotel, and causing trouble. Okay, we don't want you here, respectfully. Everyone else is welcome to come to Colorado. Uh, it's very nice here. You'll have a lot of fun. Just don't cause problems and you'll be good. <laughs> so let's check out the video that I have to share with you guys today. <sighs> Electric scooters have ruined society. Piles of scooters everywhere and hooligans running amok unchecked. So I kidnapped every scooter I could find on the streets and put them on my trailer. All right, so right off the bat, <laughs> what? <laughs> what were you thinking, dude? So, you know, people are thirsty for content all the time and they come up with the weirdest ideas. And rather than coming up with cool and fun ideas, they come up with problematic ones because maybe they'll get more clicks or something. I'm not really sure. What was the reasoning behind this? Content, but that's shit content, respectfully. Or disrespectfully. All right, let's keep watching. And began assembling an electric scooter mountain atop the highest hill I could find until an agro bird fleet manager arrived. Who are you? Uh, I'm the bird. I'm a goddamn cult leader cleaning up the city. This is private property? You're breaking the law. The crazy person who literally just picked up 60 <laughs> They called Martin Luther King Jr. crazy. What? It's not funny. <laughs> um. No one's laughing. What was the thought process behind this? Um, I don't know if it's supposed to be comedy. Are people supposed to find this funny? Like, I don't think many people found this funny. Uh, we'll keep watching. It, it doesn't get any better. Are you- <laughs> You're financially incentivized to have this opinion. You're financially incentivized to have homeless people removed from the streets rather than a scooter. Everyone else is playing chess and you're like in a field playing Monopoly by yourself. And then the bird goon squad backup arrives. How you doing guys? Are we about to get gang banged? Like is this squad gang bang right here or are we good here? I'm confused. Why is he acting surprised that this happened? If you steal over 60 scooters from a company that have tracking devices and get all confused and upset when they all show up confused as to what the hell you're doing. <laughs> what did you think was gonna happen? Are we getting gang banged right now, guys? What the hell's going on? I don't wanna hear it. <laughs> Dude. We gave you your birds back. We good? Are you bird backup? Yeah, he works for bird too. The bird boss baby called the cops on us. We gently placed the scooters down and the evil scooters continued to plague the city. They called the cops on you because what else were they supposed to do? They're not really legally allowed to handle anything besides be like, hey, uh, give it back. They didn't know what your motives were. For all they know, you're just some psycho that wants to steal all the scooters. And you're trying to make a statement like, oh, I'm a cult leader. Oh, I'm cleaning up the streets of the wretched scooters. No one gives a damn. No one thought that was funny. Who's laughing? You're a nuisance. I hate nuisances, man. Good God. He gently set them down at least. Otherwise that would be property destruction, which is illegal. So good thing you gently set them down after you stole them and removed them from where they're supposed to be. Let's be real here. Um, how bothered are you actually by scooters? How bothered is anybody by scooters? The intro contains a few clips of people messing around on scooters, you know, committing tomfoolery. And I guess that's supposed to be all his evidence, all that he needs to justify his actions. <laughs> I'm glad that you upset a ton of people for uh, 30 seconds of content on YouTube. My biggest want for this world is for people to stop upsetting people for content. We just heard about that YouTube prankster that got shot. Like he, he lived and he's just like, anyway. Back to the ground. And I'm like, you harass people for a career? A career. 
And then you literally get shot for your actions. Not saying that he deserved to get shot or that the guy that shot him like deserves to get off scot-free or anything like that. But like, what is it? There's like a saying, like if you poke the bear, don't poke the bear, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, in my opinion, I don't think you can really be a good person if you purposely try to upset people that are just trying to do their job. I don't think that you're that good of a person. It's just a judgment of character. So I guess however you want to be perceived by people and be perceived online, go for it, whatever. If you want to be perceived as an asshole that steals scooters and an asshole that fucks with people when they're trying to do their job, that's fine. But expect the consequences. Expect people to think you're an idiot. Expect people not to like you. Expect people not to like your content. But yeah. That's all I have to say, don't mess with people just to get them angry for content, quote unquote. Why all this work for 30 seconds? You got the cops call on you, you upset a company, and it wasn't even funny. <laughs> So that's it for me guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so sorry for the lack of uploads consistently. I have good news. I got employed again. Yay! <laughs> I'm super excited about it. I love my job, but unfortunately my ADHD only allows me to do so much in a day. So when I'm done with work, I'm done for the day. And um, I guess I just lacked a little bit of motivation, but I really love making videos and I have so many ideas. So thank you for 60 subscribers and thank you for sticking around. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.